is exactly where the crocs would sit in this little water hole. It looks nice as a water hole. You gonna walk in it? <laughs> yeah, it really is. But how funny is it? Mud this. Hey, 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 hey. It's a mud crock. Oh, he's in there. G'day everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Explore Life. This is what it is all about guys. I can't even tell you how absolutely stoked we are at the moment to be in this spot. It was a massive slug getting out here. We've pushed right out. It took us about seven hours yesterday to get out to this beautiful little bay. We've made it out to Honeymoon Bay. Let me show you the quick little setup guys, real quick, because this, this is the pinnacle of camping in my little opinion this is for you, oh you wouldn't believe it so there's lunch nav's got the bush company set up <laughs> over there we got the vision set up here kitchen's out got the red arc solar blanket the solar up on the roof the solar's charging there the tinny's set right on the water here this is what i built this setup for this is what it's designed for we're going to park up here for four days guys there's crocs there's turtles mangrove jack that way oysters mackerel you name it Queenies galore, they reckon the sharks out there. If you are enjoying the content, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you to everyone that's subscribed so far. We really appreciate it. We're going to have a quick bite to eat. We'll get the tinny straight in the water and we're out there. So stay tuned. This is going to be an absolute banger. Let's go. Just making a couple of uh, Pan and Oscar rigs just to. Uh so when we're out there, because we'll probably bottom bash for a uh, jewfish and finger mark, I reckon. Getting all the rods set, getting a few pre-made rigs, get everything just neat and tidy and rigged up for a couple of big days fishing. It's very hot, so it's beautiful to just sit under the awning here. It's and about time the breeze came, isn't it? <laughs> get it? Get it sorted. Happy days. We'll get rigged up, and then we're, we're going fishing. What's the challenge today, Matty? First one to get what gets what? Well, whoever gets the biggest fish for the day. Okay, for the biggest fish. Has to uh, get beers for the rest of the night. Done, that's pretty easy. Who's cooking? And then whoever gets the best, overall best fish, biggest. Who decides? Just the fish decide, mate. The fish decide. Going Going fish to... Type, size, <laughs> overall baggage. Okay, the best overall baggage. baggage. Right, done. Uh, loser, loser cooks dinner. Done. On, We're on. It's only yeah. little, only little. Where's the fish? Let's fish today. Oh, little finger mark. Probably undersized there, but to start, it's bloody hard yakka without a sounder. <laughs> but we've, uh, I think we might finally be onto something. You just got, you could have been onto a big finger mark yeah. just before. You just got smashed off. Got smashed, absolutely destroyed. That's what we're looking for, the finger mark or Dewey's. So, come on, then, guys. To start. Yeehaw! Uh. <laughs> He's on. On the vibes. Top dog tackle vibes. First cast got absolutely smashed by Queenie. Get him in here, son. Whoa! Whoa. Yeehaw! Ah. <laughs> one in the boat. One in the boat. One for one. Not quite what we're after, we'll let him go. Look at that vibe. Just oh, absolutely 
killing it, eh? That is killing it. That vibe. Smashing them. See you, mate. We're going to punch it around now and we're going to find the mouth of the river. Get in there and see if we can't chase some mangrove jack. These little cods and stripey are not exactly what we're after. I'm screaming. That's what we want. We're out of line if we don't. We want you to chase it. I'm on light gear. Gonna get before the sharks get him, man. Oi! Don't go down there, you quick. Don't go down there. That is a big That's a big queenie. That's a big queenie. Hey! Well done, <laughs> Navi! Look at that. That is a big queenie. Can I let them go? Yeah, send him. Yeah! <laughs> that is going. <laughs> it's a big queen fish, bro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a ripper fish. <laughs> well, we're back. Wasn't a very successful fishing mission, but it was bloody good fun. Time to uh, bunker down the hatches. Lucky we didn't lose the lose the awning. I'll just stay here all night, it's alright. <laughs> We'll get this tied down. I think we're gonna kick back and enjoy it this afternoon. Woo! Bit windy. Time to get some wood though. Wind's hey. picked up this afternoon. By the way, I lost every single fishing pot. <laughs> <pump. laughs> I'm cooking dinner, I'm getting beers. All right, well, we're gonna go uh, cut some timber up because we forgot to do that on the way in last night at eight o'clock. We're just going for a drive. Just followed a couple of old tracks. It's low tide. We're just going for a walk. Matt's still obsessed with getting a mud crab. Still would like to get a mud crab. Along these mangroves here. Under these rocks, perhaps. We're just gonna have to grab it by hand if we see one. In this little water hole, in this nice little water hole. You gonna walk in it? <laughs> yeah, it is. But how funny is it? Mud this. Hey, 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 hey. The mud crab. Oh, oh mud crab. Huge as Is he big? Yeah, big mud crab. Big or little? Yeah, big, nah, big, big one. Big one. He's had a chomp. We, <laughs> we had to use the GoPro pole to get, <laughs> to get him get out. Around. He only had one claw, the poor bugger. Yeah, he's got no claws, no legs. He's had a yeah, bloody shot. tough life, this fella. <laughs> Jeez. Well, someone will eat him. Um, he literally hung onto the the GoPro pole and then his claw come off and he's got no legs, no other claw. He's had a rough life, this fella. Yeah. Well, that's one. We got one. That's still good I'm size. Smash bomb. That's uh, 160 across. That's legal every day of Done. the week. Check the, check the bum on him. Um, see the triangle, that's a male, round their female. Right, eh? Oh yeah, that's a full little channel. Yeah, no way we're getting in that. What are the chances of there being a cock in there? <laughs> pretty, pretty slim. <laughs> It's not really the type of thing um, we want to be risking for a mud crab. Investigate. If I was a croc. If I was a croc. Yeah. Uh, it would be, wouldn't it? Here. Look at this. Perfect. It just it cuts off back there, and it ends just up here. What I Look at that right there. That long. Too bad we couldn't investigate the rest of that creek. Woo! Right, one mud crabs. I'm itchy. Better than none mud crabs. Scratchy and bit to shit. Oh, jeez. All right, time to, to make some firewood and yeah, so we can get, get some it. wood. A bit of timber. timber. Keep us going. 
straight up onto the base rack. Dinner time, it's actually uh, still windy, so we're going to the truck. Induction, sausages, yeah, induction cool. cooker comes in handy, eh? Yeah, it does, especially in this wind. You wouldn't know why you get that gas going. Uh, the away. gas is blowing out, so. And the fire will probably set the awning on fire, so. Everyone um, picks on people with induction, but I tell you what, 50 bucks from Kmart. That was worth Yeah, 50 bucks. Wow. And the Red Arc um, inverter just pumps this thing we're at 100 percent battery in the in the vehicle because uh it's all all day so as long as we've got some tomorrow we're happy days we pork, should have pork it. snags in bread for dinner it's gonna be an early night mate we'll have no the, fire yeah we'll have the mud crap tomorrow it's just too windy to, to cook him up i reckon yeah, so lunchtime mud crap lunchtime tomorrow rattle hey maddie yo i'll uh take one of those beers if you're uh oh, that way please what are your arms paint it on the seeing uh seeing oh i love it I think you didn't get some fish today. <laughs> well mate, there's no stipulation, so this one's out of the back seat of the car. Oh, this one's cold out of the Dometic, so <laughs> hot, hot beers for you, sunshine. Doesn't feel hot for me. Nah, yeah. it's out of the fridge, you're lucky. <laughs> lucky. All right, we'll see you in the morning, eh? Catch you guys. Cheers, Cobb. No mucking around this no, morning. Let's get out there and it's Mill Pond. Class. We're gonna chuck the boat straight in. We're gonna run straight across to those uh Islands. Outer Islands. Might be a bit rough coming home, but as long as we get there. Mate, as long as we fill the esky up when we get there. We we need to get some fish today. <laughs> Yesterday they were catching reds and we're catching bloody tiny little peeny cod. I was catching big queenies though. Oh stop it. We need a <laughs> we need a sound a bad on the little tinny. So that's the next mod, but all right, let's get More out there. Things. Straight away, didn't even pull. We've uh, lost three rigs already. Sharks, they're quick. So re-rig and we're gonna get out of this spot and keep pushing towards those islands, I think. Spewing, it's fishier as well. It's fishier, but we're never gonna get them up with them sharks. Anymore. Well, I tell you what, we're working hard today. Absolutely zero. We pushed out to these islands. We've trawled, we've bottom bashed. We need a sounder like it's going out of fashion. Um, and now we're just floating around the islands, flicking around the rocks, trying to any sharks. snag something or we can get sharks. Oh well, we'll keep persisting. We're on, we found a spot finally. Nav's got onto a good cod. Oh, he's foul hooked. Get him in. <laughs> a foul hooked a cod. Oh no, he's not foul. Oh. I got a little bloody little tusky here. Okay. 35. He's probably a little bit small. We'll let him go. See you, mate. That cod butt. We'll eat that. Bugger it. Yeah. We just found this little uh, these bombies here. Jumped in for a spear. Uh, to no avail. Nav's pulling in a couple of fish off the side here. Finger mark. Oh, good eating. See what else we can get here, right? Eh?
Well, we made it back. Just. That was yeah. rough. We had, almost had to start bailing out the boat. <coughs> you can see pretty high swells out there. Absolutely horrendous. And I've had a shocker. I couldn't catch a fish to save my life. <laughs> If I see him catch one more fish, I'm going to throw him overboard. I'm going to take all his fish. I'm going to let him just leave him here. Trash the car on the way in. Trash the boat coming home. All for bloody donuts. I'm off it. I'm off it. Get some food, eh? We're going to we're going to cook some sambos for lunch because we haven't eaten. It's two two thirty. And then this afternoon we're going to do the only thing you can do. And off. We're just going to drink tins. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry, Off buddy? to the pub for a cold beer. Yes. Yes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good morning. We had a pretty lazy one yesterday, didn't we, boss man? I wouldn't say it was too lazy. We had a good smashing. <laughs> no, when once we got back. Oh, once we got back, yeah, that was a lazy afternoon. Yeah, yeah, once we got back, the wind picked up like you wouldn't believe. It was just absolutely howling through here, sandblast and everything. So neighbours made us a chocolate cake though. Chocolate cake with the neighbours <laughs> and basically a couple of tins, and that was the night. Um, so we didn't film anything because nothing was going on. But um, today's pack up day. Yeah. But we're going out for one last fish. We're going straight back to where the little mangroves um, Jack should be. Be. Where we were yesterday afternoon. Fingers crossed we can get a mangrove jack to finish the day. So far, I've had a shocker at this place. And I'm not looking forward to driving out of here without catching at least one good fish. <laughs> oh, let's drag this big boy in. Quite beautiful and peaceful in here amongst the mangroves. Just having a little flick, a couple of little cod. No mangrove jack yet. Come on, Jackie, where are ya? Well, I managed to get onto one little mangrove and dropped it at the boat. Mangrove jack, one jack, and I dropped it at the boat. Didn't read about it. He's on. You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. Oh, that's a jack. That's what we wanted. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. That's two drop jack at the boat. I'm jumping I was in. just about to grab him. He's back there. We'll get him again. Oh, him again. you're kidding. Him. What have you done? <laughs> oh, it fell in the water. Don't. Steer with your foot. Oh. I stepped on it. <coughs> Actually stepped on this knob, which I meant woo. Straight out the back. <coughs> straight over the motor. Rod and everything in the water. Completely drenched. Are you joking? Well, we've tried vibes. We've tried gold bombers. We've tried little white lures. I've uh, thrown on little prawns. We've thrown the bloody tackle box at it. Just about everything we can uh, put in there. And uh, we found a couple and we dropped two at the boat, like idiots. I've been thrown out of the boat. <laughs> so I think that's us. I think that's, uh, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. We'll just uh, putt down the rest of this little creek and start making our way back. The mangrove jack have evaded us. But we had a crack, we had a red hot crack. So that's the main thing. Woo! Another lovely run home. Well, that was a failed little mission, but uh, we had a crack. Tidy 
all the boat up now, put, put all the gear away, and then uh, have a little bit of brekkie. Back the next. Then it might just be a chilled little day here, slow pack up and decide if we want to leave today or whether we just chill out today and leave tomorrow. First thing in the morning. But uh, yeah, if you want a uh, fishing channel, go follow someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, done. job done. Time to hit the road. We were uh, umming and ahhing whether to stay for the afternoon, but to be honest, the wind just keeps picking up and picking up, so we just had a hot and sweaty pack up. Yep, then we'll stop off somewhere in the nice fresh water somewhere, I reckon. And, yeah, uh, we need a creek for a swim, so yeah. we'll do a full debrief of this out of the wind somewhere else, but for now, we're all packed up. See you, Honeymoon Bay. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Two hundred k's later, and we made it back to Drysdale. About an hour to go until the sun goes down, I reckon. Just under, yep. Just under. So, look, little wrap up for Honeymoon Bay. Overall thoughts. On the way out, <laughs> we were hating life. I think because it was dark and we had to go slow. And uh, to be honest, it was a lot of gnarly co it corrugations. Was, it was terrible. Coming back, the crew at the road crew have, have absolutely smashed it the last three Come days. Nice, yeah. So a hundred k's was just about <laughs> graded a highway. It was the nicest road we've driven on. We couldn't believe it. The last hundred coming into Drysdale, there were still sections that were pretty rough, but. Look, yeah. if you had asked me on the way up, I probably would have said, <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Bugger it. But then coming back, the road was actually pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's so. like that, it's good. The only reason, I mean, the problem is you can't take your family there because you can't swim. Yeah, I mean, crops. you can, but it's just not you can't let them run friendly wild. in a way. Yeah, they can't run wild just because you've got to keep an eye on them. So. I probably wouldn't go back unless you get the right weather gap. You need a boat. If you it go is, there without a boat, fishing. you're just about wait, around. wasting your time. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Yeah, with the right boat, you clean up on fish, you get plenty of red. Yeah. But I mean, you could do that um, off a lot of the coastline without doing 260 <laughs> kilometres of gnarly corrugations. But look, that's what we're doing here. We went yeah. there, tick, job done. Now, because uh, the sun's about to go down, we're just going to stay in Drysdale tonight. We're going to head in for a feed at the uh, bar and have a cold brewski Sounds after good. that four hour drive. <laughs> anyway, that's enough of our dribbling. <laughs> Let's go get a cold beer, bros. Sounds good. We're out of here. Want to go? Time to go. We it's got gone. scones and coffee calling our name. Scone time. Scone time. Scone. scone. Coffee. Ham cheese toasty. That is all about to go down. Ellenbray Station. It's uh, famous for its scones. And that's about it, really. That's about it. Beautiful, beautiful green grass. This place is a little oasis. Mangoes. Mangoes. Oh, be back in two months for those. So good. <laughs> oh, we're on here too. What? Oh, tasties. Look at this. Thank you, guys. Thank Sandwiches. you. Perfect. Look at this. Thank you. And the scones. Magic. Yeah, you wouldn't know you're on the gib. <laughs> it's pretty flesh, isn't Thank it? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll have this one now. You can have the I'll next I'll one. I'll love this. I'll have these two. Yeah, that'll work out <laughs> fine. Glad we got that sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. How is it, Cobb? Oh, soft. <laughs> no, good scones. <laughs> wow. <laughs> soft and chewy. Good. I think we're going to have to start making scones. Perfect, bloody texture. You get the recipe. You get the recipe and start making them, and then you can teach me later on, mm. like a couple of years down the track. Coming to Nab's house. <laughs> scones and toasties. <laughs> well, how good was that? Lovely. Do that Ellen again. Bray. Absolute must. Better than dries now. On your little gib gib river <laughs> trip. Nice green grass. Great scones. Amazing great people. Toasties. Good yarn. All right. All right, mate. Next stop. Home Valley. Home Valley. Home Valley. Well, at least Unless we run out of fuel, then wherever, wherever we wherever we stop <laughs> is where we stop. <laughs> We're just uh, just before Home Valley. Is this little turn off 
See this, it's only 300 meters, 200 meters off the road. Cool. Nearly everyone misses it. I, yeah, I, so. I found it last time I was here. Just look out for a park sign. Yeah. A blue park That's sign. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's only about 5Ks before the uh, home valley turnoff. It's uh, Bindola Waterfalls. Oh, Bindola Waterhole, basically. It's a huge cliff. You come and see it. We'll, we'll show, show you. you. <laughs> you walk down the bottom. We're going for a swim. <laughs> it's hot today. It's damn hot. <laughs> This is all it is, there's no waterfall, the water stops flowing um, pretty much straight after the wet season but because this is so deep and all the water that comes along these cut, whole catchment area comes racing down there, jumps off here and just digs out this huge hole. There's no sand, nothing, it's just rock. But you can climb down, just over here, climb down and you have yourself a nice lovely swim. Supposedly no crocodiles, that's what they tell me. Worth a stop for a quick little uh, rinse as you're cruising along the gift. No one down here, I don't think many people stop. Don't jump from the top. <laughs> Unless you're an idiot. <laughs> Things you see, this is absolutely incredible. So there's one, two, three, four old school tractors that they've done up. They're all towing camper trailers or little caravans. And they're going from east to west, raising a little bit of money for charity. Good on them. Bloody. It's cool, <laughs> eh? Unreal. It's cool. <laughs> Down America, on the door. Down oh. both islands in New Zealand. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> that's wicked. And that's attractive across America. Yep. And this is this is your aircon setup. That's a bucket of water. A bucket of water and how's it? A bucket of water and it's got a old bit of rag in it floating around and some foam. <laughs> and then it sucks the air through that, the cool air, through the fan into the cap. And it works? Of course it works. Oh, what else? It's a cool guardy safe. Look at that. Looks like home, eh, Navi? Looks, looks like home. Actually, as soon as you see those Coburn Rangers, you just can't miss them. Like they're just this like dinosaur mountain looking over you uh, in the Kimberleys there. It's just a beautiful thing. You never get they never get old. And whenever you whenever you're driving around the Kimberleys, you know where you are according to what part of the Coburns you can see. If you can see the five fingers. You know, you're on the west side, you see the big flat fronts, you're on the other side. Don't they get older every year? No, apparently these ones don't get older. <laughs> no, they stay the same age apparently. Well, we're on the way down now and we're about to hit the penny. We're going straight across the Pentecost. Here it is, straight right. in front of us. Well, we've just come across the Pentecost River, guys, which means we are on home stretch. I've just got to throw a couple of little shout outs. I'm so impressed with the whole truck and even more impressed with the Vision van. That thing has been an absolute trooper. If you want to test your gear, go and drive Gibb River and especially drive up to Columbaroo and uh, you will shake the sh out of everything and put it to its proper test. Five months on the road, I've got a couple of videos that will have um, been out doing reviews, but this has just been that extra test for all of the gear. BF Goodrich tires, guys. I'll tell you what, I've done 45,000 kilometers on these already and we just did all of the gib. Not a single drama, we've seen eight to 10 flats and that's just people pulled over on the side of the road changing tires. Everyone's had dramas with tires this year on the gib, but the BFs, have been absolutely perfect once again. 
I've never had a flat. I had a slow leak once, which was stuff in the bead, and that's it. So, um, look, overall, guys, I'm so bloody stoked with how everything performed on this trip. It's what I built it for, um, and, and it doesn't matter how much money or time you throw into a truck until you get out there and actually put it through its paces on something like the Gib. Uh, you don't really know how it's going to go. So, whoo, absolutely stoked. What an adventure so far. 10, 20 Ks yep. and of, go of, bitumen. of uh, corrugations. You got El Questro on the right, which we're going to skip this time. We, we've both done it before. We may, I may come back um, yeah, with we, or without we, Nav. We come out again, I'll show you some secret spots. Yeah, we might go find some secret spots. That'll be a whole other episode in itself, guys. So that is the end of the Gib River Road. We've had an absolute ball. Yeah, It's hard not time. to have a good time oh, on the Gib, eh? Good time. We had some hard times, some good times, some pretty bad road, but yeah. Made it. Well worth it. Loved I it. didn't catch anywhere near as much fish. <laughs> I'm actually never inviting Nav ever again. Um, oh, here we go. Nah, it's good to have someone can catch fish because I'm, I, I have me ups and downs. I thought I had it nailed, but turns out I still suck. You so. just need someone with all the gear. And no idea. <laughs> so guys, look, if you have enjoyed this little series across the Gibb or any of the series so far, we're only just getting started. Who knows what's next? We've got a lot of exploring yeah. to do around Ooh, Cunanara. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not leaving. Kananara until I catch a barrel. <laughs> it's going to be here until next year. So, it's going to be a long episode the next one. <laughs> so that is, a, that is a dead set promise. I'm not leaving until I catch a barra. I don't care if I'm here for the whole wet. I'm staying <laughs> until I get a barra. So guys, make sure you hit that like button. Huge shout out to all of our subscribers. We uh, really appreciate the support. If you want any merch, jump on the uh, website. The link's in the, in the description there. Grab yourself some uh, Explore merch. Make sure you're exploring in the right gear. Till next time, make sure you guys get out and enjoy the Explore life. Thanks for watching, guys. We've had a hell of a time. Yeehaw! Righto, set to go. Maddie's just getting the makeup on. He looks good. You look good, Maddie. Oh, fish, good fish. He'll come out. He's just running you straight He's under. Deep in that hole. Oh, what did you oh, do? Nothing. You just snapped me. Did I? Yeah. I didn't pull it. Yeah, you pulled it against the... Oh, you're kidding. My bad. Dog. I don't know, I think I pulled it that hard. What are you doing, Nav? Sorry, bro. That's us done, I think. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. How come you're not wet and I'm wet? This is bullshit. <laughs>